So find page 57 in your workbook. As I mentioned, this is the last lesson of the chapter that we'll be covering. Tomorrow there is a practice test that we'll do together in class, and then Wednesday will be the test. Then Thursday, Friday, we're going to have our pumpkin project, so that will take two days. Um, the beginning of next week, as of right now, you're scheduled to take your quarterly assessment, the district's quarterly assessment, just so you know. Um, I have gotten word that that may have changed. I guess we'll see if they keep that where it is. As you know, next week, they're going to be changing people's schedules from hybrid to regular, regular, whatever the schedule changes are. I don't know how that'll affect us or whether it will affect us. So, um, as I mentioned, this lesson, it's pretty simple, but it's like the tip of the iceberg of bigger concepts. So we're gonna keep it simple, but just know that when you see some things, some things we haven't quite learned yet, and I'll tell you what those parts are. So here it says, write triangle FGH with legs A units and B units long. So how we're going to draw this is like this. Here is our triangle. It is a right triangle. It says it is F, G, H, so F, G, H. And so our goal here is to find coordinates for all three of these points. So G is at the origin, so the points there are just zero, zero. And then it says that the legs are A units long and B units long. So here for point H, it would be B, zero. So because this is B units long, the first number would be B. You go over B units and then up zero. And then for F, you would go up A units. Oh, wait, sorry, up zero units. And then I'm saying this backwards. It's a over units zero up units up A units. units. Thank you. Over zero units up A units. If it doesn't make sense, just stick with it. Then number two, an isosceles triangle KLP. So now I'm going to draw it like this. KLP. And it's isosceles, so this is the same length as this. Okay, so K is at the origin, that's zero, zero. And then it tells us that base KP is six B units long. So our coordinates for P would be over six B up zero. So what about L? Well, since it's an isosceles triangle, this is at the midpoint um, here. So this is at 3B, which is half of 6B. 3B for the X. And then the height here, we don't know. So what we're going to do is choose a new variable, which we'll just choose the next letter in the alphabet, which is C. The next one is just like number two, so it gives us an opportunity to practice the same thing again. Isosceles triangle A and D. It says base AD is five A units long. Point A is at zero, zero, the origin. Point D is going to be over 5A, and then up 0, because it's just on the axis. And then point N is at the halfway point here. So the X would be half of 5, which would be 2.5A. And then the height, we don't know. We'll choose the next letter in the alphabet, which is B. Later in geometry, um, one of the chapters in second semester, you'll learn how to find B. Number four. 
now they've drawn it on the coordinate plane. Um, they've given us some of the some clues. We notice that it's isosceles, so therefore this distance here would be the same as this here. So it's showing it's going over 2a, so it'd be going up 2a. So our point A would be at 0, 2a. Number five. Shows it this at the origin. It shows an equilateral triangle, which is also isosceles. Um, this here is at that halfway point. So, James, can you get the door, please? Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Okay. So the halfway point, half of 2B would just be B. And then the height, we don't know. So we'll just choose another variable. On the answer key though, it says that this answer is B, B squared of three. I'm telling you that because on the multiple choice questions on the homework, sometimes the second coordinate looks something like this. Um, and that's a concept that we learn later. We're not focusing that on that right now. Um, but if you see that, it's probably the correct answer for that problem. Okay, number six. Um, here it doesn't give us as many clues. It doesn't show it as isosceles. So for M, whatever it's going up this far, well, it's going over zero, and then it's going up, we'll just choose a letter for the variable. Seven. Okay, isosceles, it shows us this point, and then it wants to know what Q is. Um, 2A is at the halfway point here, so Q must be at 4A, just double the 2A, and then up zero. Number eight for R, it is at the halfway point. Half of seven would be 3.5, 3.5 B, and then the height here, we don't know, it is just C. Number nine. So here's one where they drew as the center of is the y-axis. Um, the height, well, it's on zero, and then the height we don't know, so we're going to just choose the next letter in the alphabet, B. Uh, it's isosceles, and I'm going to just go with A. But the thing, there's no way. Yeah, for number nine? Mm-mm. Look down at uh, between uh, U and X. U and X. A. A there. So maybe 2A, but it still wouldn't work because the diagonal is different than that. There's no way to do it. 0.5A. With what you know right now, there's no way to do it. There is a way to do it, but it's complicated. And we'll save that for when it comes up. Cross out the proof, and then we're going to do some examples on the back too. Okay, so number one says equilateral triangle SWY. So I'm going to draw that here. SWY, equilateral, so all the sides are the same length. It says with sides one fourth A long. So from here to here would be one fourth A. So our point here would be zero, zero. And then here would be one, one fourth a zero. There's probably there we go. And y will be one eighth. Okay. I don't like the way I formatted that. One fourth a zero. And then w would be halfway. Half of one fourth is one eighth. So one eighth a, and then the height. Just to choose a letter B. Oh, 
Okay, number two, isosceles BLP. BLP. With base BL is three B units long. B is at zero, zero. And L would be at three B, zero. And then P is at that halfway point. Um, the way they do it on the answer key is they do three halves. Three halves B and then C. We don't know the height. You could also say that's 1.5B. And number three, isosceles right D, G, J. Ooh, I didn't draw this to scale. This should be the same length as this. And then it says the legs are 2A units long. So this would be at 0, 0. This would be at 2A, 0. And then up here would be at 0, 2A. And then here, 4, 5, and 6. We'll finish off with those three. 4 says name the missing coordinates of each triangle. Well, this would be at the halfway point. Half of one third would be one sixth. So S is at one sixth B. The height, we don't know. Again, when you're looking at the answer choices, look for this one sixth B. And then if there's something else over here, like square root of three over six, that's okay. That's just a concept that you'll learn later. Um, it's still the right answer. And then number five, it's showing it going negative 3a this way, so it would be positive 3a this way. And then e for the height here, zero, just choose the next variable like b. And then number six, it's over here positive 2b, this way would be negative 2b, 0, and then the height here would be 0, and we'll choose c. And that's it. So I realize for some of you this might seem easy, for some of you it might be hard or confusing. That's okay. Um, if you have questions with your homework, just raise your hand, I'll come over and help you. There's also not a huge question bank on this, so if you need to help each other, that's okay as well. So use the rest of class to get your homework done and then work on Khan Academy.